Hi, I'm Diane Marie Collins, and you have entered the DM Zone. Today, we are visiting with the cast of the play, Becoming Julia Morgan. And I'm beginning with our David Rosenblatt, who is playing Jerry Mack. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. But you also play a couple of other characters. But let's start with Jerry. It is a character that is based upon the playwright, Belinda Taylor. Other characters in the play are playing real people, mm -hmm. Hearst and Julia Morgan. Where do you get your inspiration from? In part, I met Belinda, and I appreciated her passion in getting to know Julia. Likewise, I have a friend who I have known for years and years, and he himself is a reporter. So I spoke with him about what it's like to live that life, how to pursue curiosity. And then I also watch movies with Clark Gable, who actually played a reporter. So in part, I'm trying to get a sense of that inquisitiveness and lean in and then lean back and lean in and lean back. And finding the answer to the questions that are burning in the back of your mind without being rude and encroaching too much on their space. Right, right. <laughs> now, the other character that you play is not going to have the mustache. Correct. And you are shaving your mustache later for that second role. Yeah. Now, I, I told you off camera that my husband and I have been married 41 years. I've only seen him one time without the mustache. What does your significant other think about that? She can't wait for me to shave off the mustache. <laughs> oh my goodness, why? In today's culture, society, uh, a beard is okay or nothing because there's a lot of uh, associations and affiliations of a mustache with less savory characters. <gasps> my goodness, I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, so it, it works very well in the mm -hmm. whole setup and get up, but on its own, it certainly is a topic of conversation. And how long have you had your mustache? Two weeks. Oh, so you just grew it for the play, and now you're going to shave it off, so no big deal? Right. Yeah, I, I tend to grow a beard about once a year, and then I shave it off into funny shapes. So I had a soul patch to start with. I took that <laughs> off, and now I have a mustache. I've done all sorts of wild things. Now, interestingly enough, in real life, you are a psychologist. How did you find your way into acting? I share an office with a music therapist who does a lot of plays and musicals and at the same time the type of therapy I like to practice is called gestalt therapy and in large part it's about learning how to be creative in life. And so to me it's creativity comes in a lot of forms and it made sense to try to get up on stage and enact life and become congruent and dig deep and find those emotions with myself and then help create an experience that draws people in. Much like what I try to do in therapy itself is to create some kind of structure. And that feels a bit more like improv. So to me, it made sense to try something where we all knew what was coming next. And then in the same way that Jerry Mack has a sense of where he wants to go in an interview and he has to lead there, it feels like a play is very much like a team leading the audience down a certain path through a certain journey together. We're continuing our conversation with actor David Rosenblatt. Um, but David, you look quite different. What happened? I got a new hat. <laughs> and he shaved his mustache. We spent lots of time talking earlier about your mustache being gone. You are playing what character sans the mustache? Avery Morgan. Okay, this is um, Julia Morgan's brother. Yes, younger brother. Okay. What was his influence on Julia? He was in very much, a, in a large part, he was her porter and protector. And when she was young and looking to go to college, her parents were concerned about how would she be safe. And Avery stepped right up and said, I'll go with her, I'll protect her. And then in a way, they worked together in that same way so that he could provide a lot of the safety and support so Julia could focus on her work. So did he go to school with her as well? He did not attend school, but he went with her while she went to school, so to speak. Uh -huh. Yeah, personal bodyguard basically is what you're saying. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and a personable, Strong. personable yeah. bodyguard uh -huh. as well. Okay, That's interesting that that was his role and that he gave up basically anything of a life to make sure that he was there with her. Right, which is thought to be unusual for a man to, to give up something. Uh, I think, in part, Avery recognized the value of the work he was doing in supporting somebody. And one could say that they needed each other in order to thrive, mm -hmm. and they both found a lot of value in that role. And Avery, I think, 
was in his own way ahead of his time in the way that Julia was, where he recognized, I can be a caregiver, I can be a support to family and relationships in order to help this whole family and system blossom and grow. I love it. And that is, again, like you said, at the time, that was very unusual for a male character to do that. It still is unusual, and it's really <laughs> remarkable to get to be a part and, and play this tension between Avery, who gives so much to support Julia, and then on the flip side, with the mustache, support Jerry, who very much was trying to pull something from Julia to, to help himself while recognizing her ability. And it's a very interesting commentary and experience as an actor to get to address these trends in how society works and different roles based on the sexes and gender roles. I love it. One other quick note about the mustache. So now that you've shaved your real one, mm -hmm. when you go back tomorrow and play it again, do you just stick one on? Yeah, I actually saved it and I'll just go back on. <laughs> He's kidding. <laughs> David, you were too funny. <laughs> Thanks so much.